I don't need to play a whole lot of country music and for country music venues, but um, anyway, they. Um, I think it's a bigger thing in Europe. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, in France, in France especially, uh, I mean. Uh, yeah. So, buddy, would you introduce yourself, please? Yes. Oh, you're doing, doing it this way. It is okay. coming. It is beginning. <clears throat> well, uh, hi. Hello. Bonsoir. Um, je m'appelle Buddy Jewel, and that's all the French I speak. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, would you introduce yourself? Who are you? Uh, well, my name is Buddy Jewel. I um, fr am from the United States. I'm a country music singer, songwriter, and I'm looking at this book like it's going to be on film. We're doing radio. <laughs> um, I've been, uh, my career started about 10 years ago. I won a television co show called Nashville Star. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of the country, country version of American Idol. And um, had a couple of big hits right after the show. Uh, the first song I wrote for my daughter, her name is Lacey, and, and it's called Help Pour Out the Rain, Lacey's song. Uh, it was uh, my first big hit. And then um, my second big hit was a song called Sweet Southern Comfort that was on the same record. Um, I've released um, two Sony records when I was on Sony, and I've, I've sent a, subsequently I've released, uh, let's see, one, two, three uh, records on my own label, Diamond Dust Records. So. Um, but that's pretty much what I do. Now, who I am is a totally different thing. Yeah. <laughs> how did you How did you come to play music, to be an artist, a country mu artist? I, um, I I think my my dad, my father had a lot to do with with the, the the music that I grew up listening to and and learning to play the guitar to. Um, so, uh, j even as a little boy, I, I grew up listening to guys like Marty Robbins and uh, Johnny Horton, Johnny Cash. Um, Don Williams was a uh, you know one of my favorites. Uh, Kenny Rogers is another one, and I just uh, I love country music because uh, there's so many great story songs out there. Um, there was a guy whose name was uh, Hank Snow, who's from Canada, mm -hmm. and I remember when I was re really really young, and this is an old song even then. He had a song out called Miller's Cave, <clears throat> and it was about this guy who had uh, killed his wife and her lover and hidden them in this cave somewhere down in Georgia. Oh. <laughs> and so I was just, uh, songs like that, just you know, the, the imagery that uh, you conjure up in your mind when you're listening to the lyrics uh, just really kind of stuck out to me. And so I just, it was a natural thing for me to, to, to want to write and perform country music. So at this, at this time you were, you were not a child. You, you, did you begin? To when I started, oh yes. Yeah. I, I started playing guitar when I was about 14 years old, mm -hmm. and um, I joined a, uh, a, a country band when I was 20, 24, 25 years old. I started working with a band down in uh, South Arkansas, one of the, the southern states in the U.S. Uh, they were called White Oak, and um, traveled on the road with them for, um, goodness, I think about four or five years. And that, in fact, that's where I met my beautiful wife, Tanae. Mm -hmm. uh, I was on the road with, the, with that band. And um, and after the band broke up, we were living in Dallas, and uh, I wound up um, uh, winning a um, Alab the group Alabama, the country group Alabama, used to sponsor a um, a talent contest called the June Jam Talent Search, and I won the Dallas area talent search for their for the Alabama June Jam thing, and um, decided to move to Nashville a couple of years after that, and we've been in Nashville for 21 years now. I moved there in 1993. Um, I got a lot of work when I first moved to town as, as a, a demonstration singer, a studio singer. Mm -hmm. uh, writers, songwriters and publishing companies would hire me to go into the studio with a band and record songs that they had written. And then they would take those songs, the, those versions, and play them for people like George Strait, Alan Jackson, mm -hmm. and um, in hopes that they would hear the song and like it and, and then uh, in turn record their own version of the song. Mm -hmm. And so. Over um, a period of about eight, nine years, I recorded over 4,000 of those kind of songs, and uh, a few of them became hit, hit songs by other artists. Uh, one of the, the biggest ones was a song called Write This Down for George Strait. It was Song of the Year. I can't even remember what year it was, but uh, there were, were several number one songs that I sang the demonstration on. Mm -hmm. uh, Write This Down for George Strait, uh, A Little Past Little Rock for Leanne Womack was another one. And then uh, Gary Allen had a song called The One that I sang the demo on that, that went to number one. So 
I was very proud of, of yeah. that. I got to, to play a small part in those, those becoming big hit songs. The sense of my, my question was, <coughs> uh, when you were you was a child, did you dream, did you dream that you would be a oh. singer? Or what, what? Uh, no, you know, when I was, and I'm so sorry, when I was a child, I, I thought I wanted to play uh, American football, oh. professional <laughs> football. And uh, so I, I dreamed of that. Um, Uh, from the, the time I was a very small child up and I uh, played college football in, in, at the uni universities there in, in, uh, in Arkansas, the Arkansas State University. And um, it was there that I realized that I, I, what, I didn't have the skills and the abilities, that was, I wasn't good enough to, to make it into professional football. And uh -huh. so, and really at college is, is when I kind of discovered that, hey, I may want to you know, try to be a singer. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of transitioned into, into uh, my music career, and that, but that's how I got started. I, I, I have read, uh, maybe uh, I mistake, I read that, uh, that your mother helped you to become uh, an artist because she wanted you to, to sing uh, a certain time, no? Well, What, you know, we were, um, my mother, uh, uh, my dad always sang around the house a lot, my mom Uh, played the piano a little bit, uh, but but not a bunch. I had a couple of uncles who played guitar and sang. Um, my mom has always been a big supporter of my music. Mm -hmm. um, I remember one time um, a few years back, Porter Wagner had befriended me, and so um, he would always he would invite me to. I had kind of a standing invitation to come out to the Grand Ole Opry, and I, my mom came to visit us, mm -hmm. and I took her out with me to uh, to see the Opry. And uh, we were standing backstage. It was a Saturday night, and, and the first show uh, had already finished up, and they were, were doing what we call turning the house. So the, the first audience was leaving, the, the second audience was coming in. So they had the curtains closed, and um, there were people that were walking out behind the famous WSM Grand Ole Opry microphone stand that you see on television. And um, Mom said, go out there and get your picture. Yeah. You know, taken you know, behind that microphone stand, and I did, and I came back, and she said, you know, someday you're going to be singing out there behind that microphone stand, and, and she was right, you know, mm -hmm. but I've been very blessed, mm -hmm. very blessed. So you speak about country, what is country versus jazz versus uh, blues? What you is know, country music? <clears throat> to me, um, you know, country music, especially, uh, well, what true country music is, I, I don't know what you want to call the stuff they're playing now, but it's, it's really kind of the working man's music, uh, you know, people who, who, you know, put in, you know, 40 hours plus a week, you know, they work hard Monday through Friday and they get to go out and, and they kind of let their hair down, put their boots and cowboy hats on on Friday and Saturday night and go out and, and dance like they're doing here tonight. And um, it's just um, more of a, a common, the common people's music, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's, it's one of the threads that kind of, you know, binds that group of people together. You know, we all have that in common. You know, we've worked hard, we play hard, mm -hmm. and like to have fun and enjoy ourselves. Oh, I, I, forgot my, I forgot my question. That's okay. Uh, you can edit later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, um, you, you compose music. Uh, you compose... Uh, Yes, I um, I really enjoy writing, and um, I, I I've been fortunate enough. I've I've the only songs that I've ever written that have been recorded were I've recorded myself. I've yet to have anybody else uh, record my music. I, I I would love to have someone else record my music. I know there's a, there are a couple of songs, uh, one in particular um, that I'll perform tonight is called "When I'm Good and Gone," and and uh, George Strait has had it on hold two or three times. Uh, Martina McBride has, but uh, it's never made their records. But why would that would be a, um, a as we say in America, a, a huge feather in my cap if they uh, recorded one of those songs? So anyway, were you about to ask me a different question about writing? I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What are the main topics of your lyrics? I it's um, a lot of my music uh, comes from uh, life experiences for me. It's you know. It, And, and a lot of times it's not necessarily, I, I don't, the whole song may not be uh, true. So I mix in a little fact, a little fiction sometimes. Uh, although my first hit, Help Pour Out the Rain, was it's about, uh, that's exactly how the song came about. My daughter, when she was three years old, asked me if, if she could help pour out the rain when she went to heaven. And um, 
I, I didn't, at the time, it didn't occur to me that would be a good subject to write a song about. And uh, a few months later, I, I couldn't sleep one night, and I, I got up and I wrote that song. Mm -hmm. I, I started, I had gotten to thinking about her saying that, and uh, so it, it really just depends on, I, you know, all that stuff is a gift from God. It's nothing, I'm not smart enough to think that up, you know, it has to be something that He gave me. You, you hold the cross, does it mean that you are a Christian singer? Uh, you know, I am a, a singer, I'm a Christian who happens to be a singer. Uh -huh. Is the best way to put that one. Huh. I, um, you know, I do have. I've got a gospel, traditional, uh, uh, more of a traditional gospel, um, positive message type album called uh, "I Surrender All" that has a lot of, of old gospel hymns, some things I've written on it. But I don't really consider myself a Christian artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, I'm a, a Christian who happens to be a, a country music singer. Uh, I will ask you three questions now to, 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 to finish okay. our interview. Um, a word that represents the States for you, a word. That represents the United States for me? For you, yeah. Um, well, right now, I would say that um, there's a, it's a big question mark for me about the United States right now. We're kind of in a... a, a to me, in a, a state of turmoil, uh, you know, with the economy, you know, with what's going on on yeah. there right now, mm -hmm. it's still, you know, I've, I've played all over the world, mm -hmm. and uh, and I and I'm so blessed to have fans all over the world. It's still, uh, I, the the original word that came to me when you asked me the question was home. Home. Oh, yeah. It's you know, it'll always be home, and I it's always good to get to to be back home. Mm -hmm. But um, but right now, you know, there's a lot of turmoil going on, and I. I hope that uh, the, the men and women in Washington, D.C. can get their acts together and, uh, and uh, you know, save our country. You know, I certainly hope so. It was a word, now a sound. A sound? A sound that represents the stage for you. <laughs> wow. Not about music, please. Not about music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I don't, you, I'm at a loss for words here. A sound that yeah. represents the United States. Yeah. Um, I, the only thing I think of is doing. <laughs> what, what does, what does I, it mean? I don't know. I don't oh. Know. Um, where can we hear this sound? Uh, where can you hear the sound? Um, <laughs> well, there's a, an old instrument they called a, a, a juice harp, like a jaw harp that they play, it's like in the old cowboy westerns. It's got doing, doing, doing. Ah. I'm being silly and it's not working very well in French. And an object. <laughs> an object that represents the states for you. Um, the uh, well, obviously the, the the American flag and the eagle, the bald eagle, stand out to me that way. Um, wow, I, I just I see it as I see us as a you know a country still of great strength. So I think you know the big muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for the interview. No, thank, thank you. you. I hope I haven't made too big of a mess of uh, it for you. Uh, thank <laughs> you. <Doesn't work. laughs>